he turns three months tomorrow and he will officially no longer be a newborn anymore. Two under two is no joke. I don't know how people do it. Mmm. Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. This morning is Thursday morning. It's, I don't have my phone on me so I don't know what time it is. I think it's about 9.30. And I just put Cohen down for his first nap of the day. Um, one of the things I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about is Cohen's schedule, how things have been going with him. He turns three months tomorrow and he will officially no longer be a newborn anymore. And it's definitely mixed emotions because I am ready for him to like be older, sleeping on a better routine, all that stuff. But at the same time, I do not want him to not be a newborn anymore. And it just goes so fast. So we'll talk to you guys about that in this video. We're just gonna kind of do a day in the life, a uh, little video recap. I have my coffee here. So during his first nap is typically when I can kind of enjoy my coffee. He and I has a little show on over here. He's been obsessed with Lightning McQueen and the Cars movie. So we've been watching that pretty much every day. So he's watching that right now. So if you can hear that in the background, that's what that is. But yeah, I'm just going to sit here, enjoy my coffee, kind of give you guys a little life update. We actually have been back for a week from a trip to Indiana to visit my family out there. My sister plays um, college soccer, so we got to watch two of her games and she got to score a goal and we got to watch it live. So that was just so fun. And then we stayed with family, just hung out with them. And it was a really, really good time. And in Indiana, obviously it's in the Midwest and it was my first time experiencing like a real fall. And it was so pretty. I love just being able to look out and see all the pretty fall leaves and fall colors because here in San Diego, we definitely do not get anything close to that. And it was just so gorgeous, so pretty and fun to experience that for the first time. Indiana has a three hour time change. So I had no idea how the boys were gonna do, first of all, on the flights and then also with the time change. And the flights there, they did amazing. Like I was prepared to be, again, kind of similarly to our road trip, I was expecting just to literally have them be screaming the entire way there. And they did so good. Cohen slept basically the whole time in the carrier on me. He and I just had a blast on the plane. He loved it, we brought his favorite toys his iPad with some shows and he lived it up. He loved it. And the way back was not as bad as I thought, but not as good as the way there. They were definitely way more tired. We had two flights there and also two flights back. Did you want to say hi, Mr. Chocolate Bar Face? Mr. Bedhead, messy hair face. <laughs> he has a little morning chocolate bar. And I think you have a stinky, huh? Do I need to change you? Should I change you in a minute? Don't knock my coffee over. Overall, they did really well. And then with the time change, um, our flight leaving, we had to get up at our house at 3 a.m. So that kind of got them on the time change right away. And on the way home, similarly, we got home at, I think it was six our time. So it was like nine Indiana time. So they kind of switched back pretty easily. Cohen is still kind of adjusting, but again, he's only three months old. So you never know if he's like just adjusting from the time change or if it's just normal newborn behavior. But what are you saying? Are you saying hi? Are you watching cars? Kenai has been such a big toddler kid lately. Like he loves his little action figure cars and he'll just sit there and play with them. And it's so cute. He like gets in his own little world and plays. It's adorable. He loves being a big brother. He brings Cohen his binkies and he just loves having Cohen around. He loves, whenever he hears a baby cry, he points and goes, mm, mm, cause he knows they're sad. It's really cute. You're just growing up, huh? You're gonna be too soon. You gotta start planning your party, huh? Are you done with mom? Bye. Oh, you wanna sit with me? You wanna sit with me and say hi to the camera? Say hi. 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 How's that chocolate bar? Is it good? Mm. <laughs> He's been so good at saying mama lately too. Can you say mama? Say mama. 
<laughs> what are you trying to get? That cord. But speaking of Cohen's schedule, he takes about four to five naps a day. Um, and they are very, very short. They're like 20 minutes to maybe 45 on a good day. Um, usually they're about 30 minutes each. And that has been really rough because I get no breaks during the day. And especially yesterday was a rough day because Key and I didn't take a nap. So he was up all day and it was just a very long day. But it's especially long when Cohen's naps are very short. And I know it's just a season because Keen and I did the same thing. His naps were really short for a long time. So I'm just trying to take deep breaths and just, if I don't expect them to be super long, that I don't get disappointed when they're short. I just try to usually get as much done as I can in the 30 minutes that I'm given. And if I'm lucky, sometimes Cohen's longest nap will be when Keen and I is napping. I'll try to sometimes even feed him before that nap so he's full and will maybe sleep longer. Um, just so I can have a little bit of an extra break and usually I'll I won't take a break I'll be working on other stuff or cleaning up or doing something random around the house but Just having that break away from both the kids is very helpful. So I haven't really had that um, In a while because of Cohen's short naps, but Cohen's night times have also been very rough We used to be able to just put him down for the night and he would be down for the night and do you know his nighttime wakings for feeding but getting him to sleep has been very hard, especially since we got back from Indiana. So I don't know if it's just, like I said, adjusting back from being in Indiana or what it is, but um, trying to figure out what that is. If maybe my like milk supply is not enough for him at night, I, I don't know what it is. So we're trying to figure that out. Um, usually like I'll try to put him down in between seven and eight and then he just keeps waking up stirs a lot like just can't settle down i feel like it's just a stage though because i feel like i remember keen i doing the exact same thing um and i have all of like his sleep keen eyes sleep tracked in a little app tracker that i use for cohen too so it's really helpful to be able to go back and look at keen eyes and know like i was looking at it last night and by four or five months keen eyes sleep was way better so just knowing that you know it does get better yeah, it does get better, huh? You sleep great now, huh? Except for skipping your nap last night. Is that mama's coffee? So life with 202 has been very, very taxing, very draining. I am exhausted at the end of the day, but I love them so much. And um, there really is nothing I'd rather be doing. It's just very hard work. So I'm trying to kind of switch Cohen to feeding every three hours because he's still been consistently eating like every two hours, which I feel like is a very newborn thing to do. And I feel like his feedings haven't been as full when he does that. So yesterday I kind of tried to do every three hours, but he seemed to get fussy before then. So I would just feed him. But today I'm really gonna try and hold out until the three hour mark and see See if that helps the sleep situation because something needs to be fixed. <laughs> Keen eye. <laughs> Are you playing with your favorite tractor? But that's kind of all the updates for now. I'm just gonna kind of bring you guys along for the day. We don't have anything planned. I'm just gonna show you guys a normal, mundane day in the life of two kids with the TV on. Coffee is still warm for now. <laughs> Cohen will probably wake up any minute and we'll just enjoy this fall day. Also, this smug from my Kylie Created shop, I think I only have like one or two left. So if you really did want one, get one before they're gone because I don't think I'm gonna restock them. And my Christmas items are coming very soon. Maybe I'll give you guys a little sneak peek in this video, but let's continue on with our day and enjoy. I'm gonna enjoy these last few minutes before Cohen wakes up and both boys are up. is up and Cohen's up.
Is it yummy? hours later and it has just been an afternoon I feel like since we got back from Indiana I don't know what has gone through the boys but both of them have just been in a mood I don't I don't know what it is but this guy is really rough the days lately are rough again I know I always say this but I know I will miss them one day even though they're hard but with Cohen and his short naps I feel like he just gets overtired so quickly and then I try to feed him and he just like screams bloody murder when I'm trying to breastfeed him. His face turns like so red and I don't know if it's like my letdown is too like hard or forceful on him or if he's just overtired or if he's not hungry yet but I feel like this position right here and rocking him like this is the only way he will be remotely happy the last couple of days. And it's crazy because before that he was like the happiest newborn and baby ever, like compared to Kenai, it was like night and day. But lately he's kind of catching up to his big brother in terms of fussy baby. But just wanted to update you guys and I worked a little bit on my Kylie created stuff. Keen I took his nap. Thankfully he took his nap because yesterday he did not. And that made yesterday very rough. So Jacob just took Keen I to the store to get him out of the house. And thankfully Jacob has been working from home the last like week. So um, that has been helpful, but the days still are rough even though Jacob is home, but um, as you guys saw, I prepped the chicken for dinner tonight. We're gonna do some teriyaki chicken and rice and broccoli. And that's pretty easy. Jacob just throws it on the grill and I put the rest of it in the rice cooker and the oven and it's really easy. He was just, again, screaming. He just woke up from a 30 minute nap and he was just screaming and he shouldn't be hungry because it's only been like an hour and a half and I mean, the only logical thing is that he's tired and I try to put him back to sleep. Yeah, you're yawning. You're tired. I try to rock him back to sleep, but he just will not go back to sleep. And with having Kenai in the house, I can't just go into Cohen's room with the lights off and try to put him to sleep and leave Kenai down here. So I've seen that some people will like have a safe place for their kid to play, their toddler like in their room or just put them in their crib. But I feel bad doing that to Kenai. And so far up until this point, Cohen has done a good job of falling asleep just in the family room, like down here when Kenai is playing or watching a show. So many questions. I feel like with every coming week of a newborn, they change so much that you're just constantly, they're constantly changing. So you're constantly like changing your routine and they're changing what they need. I feel like every week you're just like reevaluating everything, but that's kind of life with a newborn, huh? So probably just gonna hold him like this, walk around the house for a little bit to keep him happy until he needs to eat next. <laughs> two under two is no joke. I don't know how people do it so well, but we're surviving. At least both the boys are healthy and that's all we can ask for, so. Hopefully the rest of the afternoon goes well. Yeah. Will you be better for mama this afternoon? Are you sad? Are you tired? I wish you could tell me what you want. I wish you could. Wait for brother and daddy to get home. Oh, now you're gonna smile. Now you're gonna smile. Do you see yourself? Yeah, 
yummy dinner. Good job. So we just finished dinner. Jacob and Keen and I are still finishing up downstairs. But I am doing bath time with Cohen. He loves the bath. It is his favorite, favorite place. He's smiling so much, aren't you? Yeah, you like splashing. <laughs> um, but usually we do their bedtime routines separately because Cohen's just too little to be in the bath with Kenai still. Kenai would definitely hurt Cohen in the bath, so they're still not quite there. Like I was mentioning, Cohen has had a rough napping day, so I'm hoping that this is bedtime routine and he'll probably go to bed a little bit early. It's only like six right now, um, but he'll probably be, probably be ready for bed around 6.30. Sometimes he's down for the night and sometimes he wakes up a bunch, so you never know what night it's gonna be. Yeah, but you're pretty smiley right now. Yeah, you're pretty smiley right now. Is it gonna be a good night? Is it gonna be a good night tonight? Oh, those are some good smiles. Hi. Oh, hi. Is the bath time your favorite? Yeah. Would you stay in the bath all day? Yeah. Hi. Hi. Splashing? Are you a big boy? Are you not a newborn anymore? Yeah. <laughs> I could watch him in the bath all day long. It's so cute how much he loves it. <laughs> But normally for his bedtime routine, I'll give him a bath, get him in his PJs and swaddle, lotion him up, fresh diaper, and then I'll feed him and start the process of trying to get him to sleep. Yeah. So we're just gonna finish up bath time in here. He's usually in here for like 15, 20 minutes because he just loves it so much and it calms him down. And then we'll hopefully, hopefully get him down at a decent hour and be able to have some relaxing time, just Jacob and I. Because mama needs it. Mama needs some rest. I ended up making an afternoon coffee and Jacob and the boys brought home flowers from the store, which was very sweet. Good morning guys, so it's actually the next day and it is noon, I think it's 12.30ish. Kenai has been at Jacob's mom's for the morning. They went to a park and have just, he's been hanging out there and he's taking his nap there, which is super helpful so I can get some errands done. We went to the mall because originally I was gonna do some shopping for some new jeans, but Google Maps lied to me and told me that a store was there that wasn't. And then it, it lied again and told me that the stores were open at 10, but they weren't open till 11. So I was not gonna wait around for an hour um, until they opened so we skipped that errand for the day but then we ran to Trader Joe's and then I had to return some things at Hobby Lobby so we did all those errands and you were such a good boy huh you've been happier today <laughs> I just fed him and we were back I also got a little Starbucks treat but I wanted to do a quick rundown of all the things I got at Trader Joe's for you guys I'm actually doing a fun little craft night for our little play group that we go to for just the moms so the moms can hang out. So we're gonna have time without the little kiddos, huh? Oh, spit up, nice. Pause one second. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> um, but yeah, as I was saying, I'm doing a little craft night for the moms of the group so we could just hang out without the kids and enjoy some us time. So I got some treats for that and then I wanna show you guys the little craft that we're gonna do also um, because it's super easy if you guys wanna do it at home too. So yeah, I'll show you guys really quick what I got at Trader Joe's. I got a few just everyday things that we use throughout the week and then some things for the fun little craft night tonight. Okay, I just set Cohen down over there, so I'll run through this really quickly for you guys. But 
for the craft night tonight, I got some things to do a fun little treat, like charcuterie board thing. So I got some yogurt covered pretzels, a bunch of pumpkin spice stuff, these pumpkin spice cookies, pumpkin blondie brownies looked so good. Uh, the chocolate mousse pumpkins would just looked super cute. And then I also got some salami, cheese, and crackers just for a little snack because they're going to be coming over later at like 7 so that the husbands could do the babysitting. I got some things just for our normal grocery week. Um, some cheese, pizza doughs. This enchilada sauce is so, so good, you guys. You have to try it if you haven't. These tortillas are amazing. Um, this oat beverage that I put in my coffee, pumpkin bread, and then they had this one that they hadn't had before, which was a pumpkin oat beverage, and it was weird because this one was refrigerated and this one wasn't, so I don't know how that works, but have to try that. Pancakes for Kenai, and then some chips for Kenai as well, some veggie straws, and some, what are these called? White corn puffs, and then just some bread, and I think... That is everything. So just a little haul, but I'm excited to put the charcuterie board together and I'll definitely show you guys that when it's done. But then over here is the little craft that we're gonna do. I did a little example to make sure it was easy to do, but it's this cute little pie garland. I thought it'd be fun to do a little festive craft for Thanksgiving. I think it's just gonna be me and two other moms. Some of the other moms couldn't make it, which is totally understandable. We all have kids and life is crazy. Also, don't mind the spit up on my shoulder. That is life. <laughs> but I'm gonna put all these groceries away and then probably start, one, making lunch for myself and then two, laying out the stuff for the party tonight. Mm -hmm. 